Me personally, I actually do want a second wife. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Shy, and I'm back with another video. No, it's your boy Chad, and I'm back with another video. No, I'm back with another no, video. No, I'm back with another video. We're, We're back, back with, with another, another video. video. All right, guys. So today, 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 today. As y'all read from the title, we are talking about if Chad won another wife and how do we feel about polygamy. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get straight, straight into, into the, the video. video. Alright, so this ain't no mukbang, this ain't nothing. This, we just felt like, let's talk about this because we Muslim. I know um, a lot of people that um, basically hear about our religion, they always bring this question up. Like, it's a question that everybody want to know. They always be like, well... I don't, I don't know. I can't be no Muslim because y'all, y'all husbands allowed to have four wives, which is true. Um, that's their rights. They could have four wives, but they always say like, um, that's everybody big question. They always want to know how do y'all not, not eat for thirty days? Oh, or, I was just about to or say. Or everybody want to know about fasting during Ramadan? Um, why do we cover our hair? All of all that. We're not talking about that stuff right now, though. Right now, we strictly talking about um, polygamy. So I guess I'll share like my thoughts on it and then Chad will share his thoughts. But to give y'all like the background behind it, polygamy is when you uh, are married to multiple people at a time and Islam is permissible. Uh, men are allowed to have four wives. Um, it's rules that come with that, but yes, they are allowed to have four wives. So how do I feel about it? Um, what I told Chad was that I'm not, as of now, I'm not comfortable with him having a, another wife. Like, I am a jealous wife. I am, and I can admit that. Like, I get jealous, and I don't really, right now, that's not something that I'm interested in. And I understand it, though. I understand it 100%. But I think it's being an um, American Muslim, raised in America, we see the bad of polygamy. It's not, like, the norm around us. Is um, it's just looked at as a bad thing, and it's really not. Once you educate yourself and learn the religion, um, you see how beautiful it could be, and um, the blessings you get from it. But with me being so young and everything, I think I just haven't grown to accept or want to be a part of it. Um, so why are you making all those faces? No, I'm just listening to what you're saying. So um. Me, I I would I find it hard because going to, from being with a person every single day, like every single day, Chad wake up and go to sleep near me. Like I see him every day. Like it's not a day I don't see him. So it was like if he was to get married, it's like I have to split those days up. I, it's like it's hard having a person all to yourself than having to share them out of nowhere. And it's like I know it's his rights, but me personally that's not something i'm interested in as of now maybe a few years from now when i grow more learn more educate myself more just become like a better muslim it might be something that i'm like just willing to accept even though it's not my decision to accept or not because chad is allowed to get married if he wants to but i do have the option to divorce him if i want to so and so what she mean by that is Say for instance, if I wanted, if I wanted to have another wife, the Shia, I don't have to tell the Shia. I don't need her approval to marry another female, but she had the right to divorce me as well. So that's what she meant. If y'all didn't understand, okay. yeah, I mean it's appropriate. Like if you love your wife enough to sit down and talk to her about it, though, he, although he don't need my approval, um, I think it's appropriate for men to. Hey, I'm thinking about looking for another wife, whatever like that. But the reason why, I'm not going to say against, the reason why I don't really want to be a part of it. I'm so young. I'm not used to sharing Chad. And I just feel like not only is the days being split from me and taken away from me, is being taken away from his daughter because she's used to seeing him every day. So imagine us having more kids, our daughter and our son, and then he decided to get another wife. I'm not interested in being a stepmom. Not right now. I'm 23. So imagine he get married. Um... 
she gets pregnant and now I'm a stepmom. I only see my husband three days out the week. My daughter and son only see their dad three days out the week. It's like a lot that comes with it. Although it's a beautiful thing, there's a lot that comes with it. But like I was saying from the beginning, with us being raised in America, it does look like a bad thing. It's looked at like um, the wrong way, yeah, basically. Like the, I think people take advantage of like, all right, I can have more than one wife and they don't really want to take the responsibility to have more than one wife, if y'all get what I'm saying. Like, say for instance, if they marry more than one female, like, they only want to marry more than one female because they want to have sex with different females. You get what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to take the responsibility of being married to four, three different uh, women. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to say that's every, how all Muslims Not think, all Muslims. But just the Facebook. American yeah, Muslims like, that we met. And when you when you marry another female, like everybody got to be treated equal. You get what I'm saying? So you pay one person bills, you got to pay the other one. You get what I'm saying? So like, like you can't pay one your first wife bills and then don't pay your second wife bill. You get what I'm saying? Like so. And a lot of things now is like um, everybody is supposed to be treated equal, and that's not how things always happen or goes like sometimes a lot of people want a second wife because it's problems in their first marriage right. and they want to run away from them or like um it could be sexual reasons or argument reasons or stuff like that instead of talking to their wife to make things better they'll get another wife right. which cause problems because well it's going well go ahead my fault i don't mean to keep no go ahead. go ahead no i was just saying which cause problems because um you can i mean it's your right to get another wife but why not fix things in your first marriage so that she know what she's doing wrong or then so y'all can work on things instead of just trying to go to another woman because what happens is then you're not treating her right. I mean, you're not treating her the same because you have all of this hate or this life with the first wife. You're treating this one so much better and the same thing will happen over there because you still have those problems going on over here and you want to have a peaceful polygamous um, relationship situation because... Like, whatever problems you and that wife have, you take over there. She hear about your wife. Now, she don't like the wife that's over here. And it's like everybody yeah, should be it, one it big happy family. problems. And females, when, during that situation, like, I think females play, like, little tit for tat games. Like, like kids would be involved. Like, oh, I don't want my kid to be over here with, with that with that child, I don't want my kid here, there, and all that. So that that's when cause, it's done messy, can, when it's not done yeah, correct. Like, that's it will cause a whole problem in the whole relationship, which but, you don't need. I right, sorry, y'all. We had to tend to Sue. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, what was I saying? I don't know. I never want to say that I don't, I don't, um, I don't like something or that I disagree with anything that a law says is correct. So that's what I'm just saying. It's not something that I'm very interested or, um, comfortable with at this moment. Inshallah, I'll, I'll grow and will see the good in it and think positive about it. But when you raise where we from, or just raise, as an American Muslim, it's just done in a messy way. Not yeah, everybody not, really yeah, should, but it's done very messy because guys get married, don't have the funds for their situation. Um, they don't have the right attitudes. They just they don't even have the knowledge to teach them their rights. Everybody getting married to get married. Females getting married to just be provided to from a man. So things just not done correctly and i look at i see all the bad in it but doing my own research i know the good in it right but. um me personally i actually do want a second wife it's like i'm not saying that. don't think uh, take off you really I'm do i'm only playing like i'm only playing i really feel like i don't want a second wife because i feel like i don't i think I would never love somebody as much as I love the Shia. Like, I can't split. Aww. Oh, come on, man. You made me feel all emotional. No, I say no, but uh, seriously, though. Um, so, I really don't think I will be able to share the the same love that I would have with my first wife. Like, so, I don't even think, like, later on down the road, if I really had it, like, and I was very... Like deep into my religion and everything, I still feel like I want to have a second wife, even if I did have it. So, mm, I don't, I don't know, but my mind is made up right now, so I don't think it would change later on down the road. So, yeah, definitely. Nah. But you don't, you don't think it's a bad thing. You agree with? Um, 
I don't think it's a bad thing to have more than one wife, but I do feel like people take advantage of having more than one wife, and correctly. it's not done correctly. Like, I'm going to give y'all an example. Like, if you marry, like, a guy marries another female, and, you know, most, most of the time, um, they say the men are supposed to take care of the household, pay for this, pay for that. Like, that's like saying I marry somebody and I make the other my other wife quit her job, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, I'm gonna provide for this, I'm gonna provide for that. But it's like, now I'm working 12 different jobs to take care of this household, that household, make sure everything is good. I'm not spending no time with my first wife, I'm not spending no time with my second wife. And I'm not spending no time with my kids neither, like, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, that's a tool on your, on your body as well. And the same, like, you're not spending no time with neither, neither one of your wives either. So it's like, all right, like, you didn't promise us this. Even though you're taking care of the house, but you're not spending no time with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and we no scholars, so we don't want to really hear all the comments down below. Oh, well, this is that, this is that, da 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 um, We speaking on our... Like, how how we how all we everybody look at right, things right. differently. Yeah, we know what's right, but like I said, we're not here to teach nobody. We just speaking on how we feel about it. So y'all can keep all the comments to yourself. Um, we just basically speaking on what we how we think about um polygamous relationship. Now, are we interested in having one? Um, and, and I feel like if we were if we live in a different country and like we seen yeah, if it was the norm yeah, like if it was the country. norm in another country then if it was the yeah, norm like, here we would be like yeah to. yeah it would be better but i feel like in america i don't think like i, I told don't. chad the only way i would want him to have another wife is we can all live with each other because i feel like i'm so i've been with chad since ninth grade like i see him every day in school summertime going over we went to college together came home had a baby together Everything we do together, as y'all can see, me and Chad do everything together. So it's like having to split that time. I see Stinky. Having to split that time would, would be very hard to adjust into. Not saying that I would never do it, but right now I would not do it. Um, and I think what guys need to do is before I ever getting married to someone, and those sure, sit downs, yeah. make I'm, sure. Are you, oh, all right, my fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. No, I'll, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't like cutting you off because I hate when you do that to me, so go ahead. I was just saying, like, at those sit-downs, because most everybody supposed to have sit-downs before getting married. At those sit-downs, have the discussion that you're not interested in um, polygamous marriage and tell your wife that you are interested in polygamous marriage um, because some people are not into it and, and it's their decision to marry somebody that even though it's the religion, it's still their decision if they want to go ahead and marry you. Because a guy can decide, I'm going to have problems with her. She don't. She's not interested in me having another wife, second wife, or fourth wife. So I should pick somebody else. And just like she can go, he already told me that he's interested in looking for other people. So maybe I should um, look around and not settle right here. So I really think it's a discussion that you I feel have. like even if they have the discussion, I feel like a man's mind is probably still going to change. Like he can say like, that's like saying y'all have a sit down and your dad is right there. I'm just going to say what is right in front of your dad. Not a righteous Muslim. But I'm saying like some people is not like that. But not everybody dad like, know a man right. So uh, her dad know a man right. So what is he hiding from the dad? That's his right. It's not I'm like it's cheating. Okay, that is his right. I'm just saying, like, if he be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I don't want more than, one, more than one wife. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, what if he's saying that, yeah, I don't want to have more than one wife That's in front, of, in front of his truthful. wife. And then later on down the road, he, he changed his mind. Like, all right, like, this ain't what it is. It's time for me to get a second wife. What? Yeah, things can change. Yeah, that's things what I'm saying. Can that's what it can change. I'm not saying, like, he lying in front of your dad or lying. Like, I'm just saying, like, people change their mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if y'all going through stuff in your marriage already. It's like, all right, all right, she getting on my nerves. It's time for me to take, it may be time for me to take my time somewhere else. Like, let me focus this energy on somebody else like you get what i'm saying even though that's running away from your problems and that's not going to make things better basically what i was saying is i feel like um 
So if people can stop looking at polygamous marriage like such a horrible thing. Guys got to step their game up. Guys got to do what's supposed to be right. Females have to know that they really, I mean, it's really not their decision if they marry, I mean, ready or not, but to be mature. And guys, it comes a lot from the guys, though, with not having things in place and making it so messy, right. not treating them right, not doing things correctly. If you know that you can't afford three wives, don't get three wives. If you know that you're not um, able to give everybody the same treatment and love, then like you're supposed to treat your wife with the most highest respect. Right. So if you're not able to do that, then you shouldn't do it because it makes other people that's not Muslim or even Muslim scared to join the religion because of that or even Muslims being okay with polygamous, excuse me, marriage because it looks so messy when it's really not, when it's done correctly. Right. Yeah, Allah would never um, make something permissible that's like horrible. It wouldn't be horrible. So, um, it's not a horrible thing. You're supposed to enjoy it like like for um i feel like for polygamous marriage you do probably have to be a little older because naturally as a female yeah, would, we all are jealous catch. but i what i hate is when somebody say oh girls that's against polygamous marriages insecure this thing they don't got nothing to do with looks or nothing like that it doesn't mean that you're insecure it's just that you're not comfortable with that because you're not used to sharing your man so it's new for you once you did it or you got cheated on a million times. Like, some people are used to things like that. But, yeah, uh, like, Kufar, as they always say, like, I can't do that even though they be sharing a man a lot. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, it's, it's like, it's, uh, it's something you have to understand and educate yourself on, too. Yeah. And I think you got to be, like you were saying, a little older. It is for, like, older people, not for, like, our age bracket. Because I don't think people really... Our age bracket really understand like what polygamy. There's no required marriage. age. He's just saying that. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm telling. Yeah, there's no required age when it can be done. He's no, just I'm saying, just saying that like our our age is like I'm young mature minded. enough. Yeah. So it could be people that are, but but majority majority of uh, American yeah. Muslims yeah. are not is young minded. Yep. So. All right, y'all. So that's about it. It made we gave y'all our feedback on the situation and the topic. So uh, and Chad want another wife, like he told y'all. Yep, I'm having three more. You already know. So he you must know. be working I overtime. Where we I'm about to be a plumber, construction worker. So you know, I ain't doing that type of time. But anyway, make sure if y'all new to this channel, make sure y'all put on y'all post notifications. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to our channel. And make sure you tell your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your side nigga, your side chick to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, what else? Uh, we dropping bangers back to back every day. If y'all got a video that y'all want us to do, please get, give us a, a comment in the... I was about to see the description. Please leave, leave a, a comment, comment down, down below. below. Y'all don't you Yo, talk like... I if y'all want to see us do any more videos, please leave a comment. Don't you talk like that. Just make you want to click no, off the head. Alright, y'all. So like Chad said, make sure you look, hit look, that you, subscribe button. You see how Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And like he said, make sure you tell your mind your day, brothers. Like, uh, turn the post notifications on. Like he said, we dropping bingers back to back to back to back to back every day. So make sure y'all comment down below what y'all would like to see. And we are... Hold on, y'all. I forgot to show y'all the bump. Yeah, my young boy, young boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my belly button mm hurt. -hmm. Oh, now I can't even say his name. I was about to say. But you already know what your name is. Your main daddy can't wait to see you. You know, you coming soon. Well, Big relationships so and all that. Love you, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know Look at from the front. It ain't big. But from the side, it's trying to stick out a little bit. It ain't really there, but if I, like, show y'all. All right, we out. Bye.